Hello. Hello. Welcome to All Things Out. I'm Dr. Phillips. And I'm Dr. Galloway. And we are coming to you live here from mm -hmm. our office. And let me just put up a couple of things here right there so you can find us later. Mm -hmm. And um, today we're excited because we're going to talk about um, all things musicians. And I'm like, I need to get it over to, <laughs> to Dr. Galloway there. Okay. But we're going to talk more about um, options for musicians. Because we have an event that we're coming up, and I'm going to let Dr. Galloway talk about it a little bit, because we've done it for the past few years. Yes, so every year we volunteer at this free music festival in Fort Collins called Bohemian Nights. Um, we are part of the Music Cares group. Who Music Cares is an organization, um, it's kind of an advocacy group for musicians, but they actually provide musicians earplugs for musicians that come to see us during um, the festival. So they come in, we take ear impressions, mail them off, and then those musicians will actually get free musicians plugs to use. So that's something that we participate in every summer, and it's coming up this weekend. Yeah, so we're super excited. Let me take that down here. So we're super excited because we get to, um, it's going to be, if you're there at Bohemian Nights, then, um, and you know musicians, then send them our way. I think they're doing um and it's not just musicians though. either. It's um, mm -hmm. anybody like stagehands, photographers. I think that's probably the coolest part about it is that they're not just giving um, you know priority to the musicians. It's anybody that's on stage or mm -hmm. you know involved in media, whatever. So. Yeah. So we get to take your impressions. I will be working on Friday. Uh, we have another audiologist in town that will be doing Saturday, and then Dr. Galloway will be there on Sunday. And we've got some students and other audiologists in the community, I guess, also coming out to help. So there'll be a lot of people there. Yeah. Um, and But yeah, so reach out to us if you know of a musician. We love helping out at Bohemian Nights because it is a lot of local uh, musicians, and um, we just like to give back. So And go check out Bohemian Nights, too, yeah. because they have really good... Um, I think that the headliner this year is Bonnie Ray. Yes. She's really awesome, mm -hmm. and free and and there's lots of um, local musicians earlier there's music all day long but the headliners are I think from 8 to 10 yeah so yeah we love Fort Collins yeah there's a lot of cool <laughs> stuff going on here so so based on that we kind of wanted to talk a little more of what we can provide for musicians so that you know so even if you don't make it out but you want to spread the word please spread the word of what is available for musicians and so I wanted to talk a little bit more about musicians earplugs that we can do so you can use regular foam earplugs and I know we showed those to you before but they're just foam earplugs that kind of go in your ears um, depending on how well you put them in they have a pretty good noise reduction rating however the problem is when you put in those foam earplugs they tend to actually like plug up your ear entirely and so for musicians who need to hear other musicians that are playing along with them or if you're attending concerts and you want to be able to hear somebody talking to you, musicians' earplugs that have filters are actually what's recommended because it does protect you of uh, from those peaks of what's going on, but then it allows you to still be able to hear the person that you're with. So a regular foam earplug that we had talked about, the noise reduction rating or the NRR, if you actually look at the package, is anywhere between 22 to about 33 decibels of noise reduction based on how well you put them in. I think we've showed you a couple times how to roll them, kind of stick them in your ear and hold them while they expand. And so some people do it really well. Some people I've seen that have them like, kind of have them like hanging out of their ears too. And so it kind of depends on how well you put them in. But the average noise reduction rating of foam earplugs is about 29 decibels. Um, and then if you add earmuffs over that for some people we that are doing um, different kinds of work at home um, or industrial work, we usually tell them to put maybe the foam earplugs as well as like earmuffs over it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't add 30 plus another 30 um, of the noise reduction rating of the decibels that are fully attenuating. But it ends up being only really about like 34 decibels with foam earplugs plus earmuffs on top. So some of the advantages of using musicians' earplugs is that they have different filters. So when we take impressions for the musicians and the stagehands at Bohemian Nights, we typically talk about what is their job around music because we have to figure out you know, what are you using the filters for? I have this great graphic that I wanted to put up here too, and I'm going to leave it up while I continue talking because if you have a phone and you want to screenshot this, it really tells you with some of the different filters, depending on what instrument you play, depending if you are, like it says, recording engineers on there, music teachers, vocalists, it tells you what's recommended for what kind of filter. And, I, and we really use something like this when we're talking to our musicians and stagehands because 
they don't know what it's going to do. Obviously, the, the higher the number, the more attenuation. So how I was saying like a foam earplug is typically between 22 to 33 decibels of noise reduction rating. If you get like say the green um, ER25 filters, it's going to be closer to more of an attenuating filter than the ER9s, for example. All right, so I'm going to take that down here. But yeah, so that kind of helps us out trying to figure out and help musicians and stagehands figure out what kind of filter. But as you can see, there are multiple filters. And some of the advantages of having these different filters is that you can maybe get them for different things. So like you can get a filter for rehearsals versus performances, mm -hmm. right? Or um, you can get filters, and, and I actually haven't done this, and I, I, I was looking it up and doing some research prior to our show today, but... Someone actually recommended, depending on where you sit in the sound source, you might want a little bit more of an attenuating filter. Let's say, you know, Dr. Galloway's singing her heart out, right? <laughs> and um, But I have to also listen to what I'm producing in my, mu in my um, music instrument or whatever it is. I might actually want to put a little bit more attenuating filter on this side, like an ER25, mm -hmm. and then maybe put like an ER9 on this side. And so knowing that, you know, you can get multiple filters and swap them out at any time, but still use the same filter. So that's an advantage of having musicians' earplugs is that you can kind of swap them out. Mm -hmm. Last week, um, or actually maybe two weeks ago, when I had Autumn on, she was she's actually one of our front desk uh, people that you will see when you come in. But she is a judge for dance competitions, and we actually got a musician's earplugs because mm -hmm. so she actually has filters that she can put in, and she can still hear the judges, but it actually protects her from the loud sounds that are coming from the stage. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, again, with musicians' earplugs, how it's different is that it reduces sound more evenly, um, so that the music and speech uh, still come through clear and they're not muffled like foam earplugs. And so that, if you have any questions with musicians' earplugs, please put it in the comments or send us a message here, and we'll be happy to answer them. And then Dr. Galloway is going to talk about another option for musicians. Yes, and I'm just going to um, step back just a second to talk about they do sell non-custom musicians' earplugs. Um, my favorite are called ETY plugs. You can get them off Amazon for like 20 bucks or something. They're the ones I use all the time. They're not great for everybody because if your ear canal is really small or curvy, it's not going to work. But I use them um, and I think it's a better option than like a foam ear plug. If you're not going to, you know, go ahead and get something made that's custom, they do sell those too. You don't have as many filter options though. I think it's 20 dB standard. Um, but the other thing we wanted to talk about is in-ear monitors. So if you've ever, you know, been to a concert, watched The Voice on television, anything like that, you'll see musicians and they'll have this custom made piece in their ear. A lot of times it has a little wire that goes down the back and underneath their shirt. And it's actually attached to something on their belt um, that's an FM receiver. But what it is, is it allows the musician to listen to themselves with their vocals mixed with the music like it would be for the audience. Um, before they had this technology, they actually put something called a wedge speaker on the stage. And so the musician would be performing and could hear the result through the speaker on the stage that was up really loud. And they were kind of bombarded by all this sound because they're singing, there's music on stage, and then they also have this speaker that's giving it back to them. Um, so what they did is they came up with these in-ear monitors that fits in your ear. The sound actually gets mixed and then sent back so they can, you know, kind of monitor themselves. And because it's custom, it's occluding the ear so we can protect the levels of sound. So if it's in the ear, we can turn the sound down as opposed to on stage, you're probably going to have to turn it up over what else is going on so the musician can hear it. Um, so it looks like, I was just going to kind of demonstrate. This is a listening tube. This is not an in-ear monitor, but it is a custom piece. So what it would look like is something like this, and I'll take the little snap off. Let's see. But it's just something that would custom fit in your ear like this, um, and it would have like a little wire that goes down the back of it underneath my shirt, and it would attach on my belt to a battery pack uh, or an FM receiver that would then um, communicate with the audio engineer. So it's really cool. Some, pay, or some musicians wear one, some wear two. Usually you'll notice it because when they finish performing before they talk into the mic, they usually like rip it out of their ear. Um, but I've had a patient ask, what is that? Is it like a hearing aid or how does it work? So we thought today would kind of be a good time to throw in a few details about that as well. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's all we have today. Um, but <clears throat> like I said, we are both going to be at Bohemian Nights New West Fest this weekend in Fort Collins, Old Town. Yeah. And there are tons. If you go to Bohemian Nights 
and you Google Bohemian Nights Fort Collins, you will see the whole entire line, lineup of musicians. Most of them are local, mm -hmm. but they usually have a headliner on Friday evening, like Dr. Galloway said, and, and I do believe you're right. I think it's Bonnie Raitt. Um, she's Saturday. Oh, she's year. Saturday. My okay. mom is making the trip all the way to Colorado. To she is? Bonnie Raitt oh, my her. goodness. Yes. <laughs> she loves her. So yeah. when she heard it was coming, she's like, okay, I'll come see that. Oh, how fun. Yeah. yeah so, so we will be there. We are, again, taking ear impressions from musicians and stagehands um, and other people who just need them through a great program. It's a it's through the Grammys, actually, but it's through Music Cares. And so we're thankful that we can partner with a company and an organization like Music Cares, and we've been doing yes. it for the past few years. And so um, protect your hearing. We will help and answer any other questions that you might have that you want to post in our comments. Um, but, yeah, have a great rest of your week. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to give a shout-out to Dr. Marshall Chasen. He's an audiologist in Canada, but I used his book to uh, kind of refresh myself about in-ear monitors, and then I noticed that the graphic that Dr. Phillips put up is also from him. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. All right, well, have a good week, and thanks for joining in, and we'll see you next Thursday at 1230 on All Things Odd. Bye. All right, bye.